Depends on how you see it. Uh, you could you could look at it in a way that our emissions are still on the rise um, and that we are speeding in the wrong direction. We are still expanding fossil fuel infrastructure and so on. There is no sense of urgency whatsoever. Um, it's like no one is acting as if we are as if we are in a crisis. But on the other hand, of course, we have had millions of people all over the world walking out, flooding the streets and demanding action. So I guess it depends how you see it. Of course, there has been a difference, but not nearly enough. In the arena of global activism, few figures have risen as meteorically or as controversially as Greta Thunberg, from a solitary protester outside the Swedish parliament to a worldwide phenomenon, her journey has been anything but ordinary. Once the ubiquitous face of climate activism, she seemingly retreated from public view. Join us as we unravel the mystery behind Greta Thunberg's conspicuous absence and discover the startling truth. My message is that we'll be watching you. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. The evolution of a climate icon. In the heart of Stockholm, a young girl's concern for the planet's future began to take root. Born in 2003 to an opera singer mother and an actor father, Greta Thunberg's journey into environmental activism started early. At just eight years old, she first learned about climate change, a topic that soon consumed her thoughts and shaped her destiny. As she approached her teenage years, her passion for the environment intertwined with personal challenges. At 11, she fell into a deep depression, withdrawing from school and everyday life. It was during this difficult period that she was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism that she later described as her superpower. The summer of 2018 marked a turning point. At 15, Greta took a bold step that catapulted her into the world stage. Armed with a hand-painted sign and unwavering determination, she stationed herself outside the Swedish parliament initiating the first school strike for climate. This solitary act of defiance sparked a global movement, inspiring hundreds of thousands of young people, inspiring hundreds of thousands of young people worldwide to join her Fridays for Future strikes. As news of the young activists spread, Greta's life transformed dramatically. Her father noted a remarkable change. The once silent girl had found her voice and with it, a renewed sense of purpose. Her depression lifted as she channeled her energy into a cause greater than herself. Greta's influence grew exponentially. She took a year off school to focus on her activism, crisscrossing the globe, to deliver impassioned speeches to world leaders. Her words, delivered with a mix of youthful indignation and startling clarity, resonated with millions. She became the face of a generation demanding urgent action on climate change. Recognition came swiftly. Between 2019 and 2023, she was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize five consecutive times. She graced the cover of Time magazine as Person of the Year, the youngest person to receive this honor. Awards poured in, including the Right Livelihood Award and Amnesty International's Ambassador of Conscience Award. Forbes listed her as one of the world's 100 most powerful women. Yet with her rising profile came challenges. Greta faced criticism from world leaders and climate change skeptics alike. She weathered personal attacks and attempts to discredit her message, but these obstacles only seemed to fuel her resolve as she continued to advocate for immediate and drastic action to combat climate change. As she entered adulthood, she expanded her influence beyond street protests. In 2022, she published The Climate Book, a comprehensive work featuring essays from 100 experts in various fields related to the climate crisis. This is not about some expensive, politically correct green act of bunny hugging or blah, 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 build back better, blah, 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 green economy, blah, 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 net zero by 2050, blah, blah, blah. From climate focus to broader activism. As the calendar turned to October 2023, few could have predicted the seismic shift that would occur in Greta's activism. For years, her name had been synonymous with climate change advocacy. However, this date marked a pivotal moment that would reshape her public image. 
In the wake of events unfolding in the Middle East, Thunberg made a surprising pivot. The young activist, who had previously channeled all her energy into combating climate change, suddenly found herself drawn into the complex web of international politics. Her attention shifted dramatically towards the Israel-Palestine conflict, a move that caught many of her supporters off guard. This unexpected transition manifested most visibly in Thunberg's participation in demonstrations far removed from her usual climate-focused protests. In a striking departure from her norm, she traveled to the Swedish city of Malmo to join mass demonstrations. The cause was a campaign to ban a young Israeli singer from participating in the annual Eurovision Song Contest. This action marked a clear expansion of Thunberg's activism beyond environmental concerns. The contrast in Greta's focus became even more apparent as environmental crises unfolded concurrently with her newfound political activism. While she raised her voice in Malmo, Hezbollah rockets were setting fire to thousands of acres in northern Israel. The silence from the once vocal climate activist on this environmental destruction was deafening to many, highlighting the stark shift in her priorities. This pivot didn't go unnoticed or uncriticized. Many of Thunberg's longtime supporters found themselves grappling with her new direction. Some praised her for broadening her activism to encompass other global issues, seeing it as a natural evolution of her role as a youth leader. Others, however, expressed disappointment and confusion, questioning why she had seemingly abandoned her primary cause at a critical time for climate action. The controversy surrounding her new focus brought to light the concept of intersectionality in modern activism. Her actions seem to suggest a belief that various global issues, including climate change and geopolitical conflicts, were interconnected. But this stance proved divisive, with critics arguing it diluted her message and effectiveness as a climate advocate. People seem to have to see me as an angry teenager who condemns every, every individual's behavior, um, which is kind of funny to me. <laughs> and you're not that person? No. <laughs> What's the difference between that person and who you really are? There's a big difference. Um, yeah, I'm not an angry teenager. Um, yeah, I'm. I probably don't take life in, seriously enough, like in private. Yeah. Legal challenges and changing tactics. As Greta's activism evolved, so too did the challenges she faced. The young climate crusader found herself navigating not just the court of public opinion, but actual courtrooms. This new chapter began to unfold in London during October of 2023. Thunberg, along with other climate activists, staged a bold protest outside a major oil and gas conference. Their actions, while rooted in environmental concerns, crossed a line in the eyes of law enforcement. The protest disrupted the event and led to Greta's arrest, thrusting her into a legal battle that captured global attention. The charges were serious, failing to comply with a police order to move from a restricted area outside the conference. This marked a significant escalation in the consequences of her activism. No longer was she merely facing criticism or political pushback, now she was confronting the full force of the legal system. But the drama took an unexpected turn. In a ruling that reverberated through activist circles worldwide, she was acquitted. The judge's decision hinged on a technicality. The police order had been deemed unlawful due to its imprecise wording. This legal victory was more than a personal triumph for Greta. It became a rallying point for climate activists globally. The acquittal, while a relief for Thunberg and her supporters, brought its own set of implications. It sparked debates about the boundaries of civil disobedience and the role of the legal system in addressing climate activism. Some viewed the ruling as a vindication of protest rights, others saw it as a potential encouragement for more disruptive forms of activism. In the wake of this legal challenge, a subtle but significant shift began to emerge in Greta's approach to activism. The young Swede, known for fiery speeches and school strikes, started to diversify her tactics. She began placing greater emphasis on legal and policy-oriented approaches. This evolution in strategy was evident in her increased engagement with policymakers and her efforts to influence legislation. Thunberg started participating in more formal discussions with political leaders, pushing for concrete policy changes rather than relying solely on public demonstrations. Her activism began to take on a more nuanced, multi-pronged approach. At the same time, her legal encounter seemed to inspire a new wave of climate activism. Young activists worldwide 
began to explore the limits of protest laws, strategically pushing boundaries to draw attention to the urgency of climate action. Now it's time to hear from you. Has Greta's activism ever inspired you to make changes in your own life? Let us know in the comments section below.